Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with MyPhotoBorders.com and today I'm going to demonstrate a new background that we have called Space Volleyball. This is part of our space collection which has been uh, very popular over the last couple weeks. But this one's a little bit different than some of our other templates because on this one we actually included a uh, smart object uh, for the logo that you can place on the uh, volleyball court so this gives you a little more option so if you want to import a um, school's logo or maybe the initials of their team or something and uh, so I'm gonna break it down and kind of show you how that works um, but also keep in mind that these vector smart objects um, they typically only work in Photoshop uh, that I'm aware of so for you uh, Adobe element users uh, this video may not apply the actual um, smart object itself may not work in elements like I say I haven't tested it on elements but I do believe that uh, smart objects don't really work but as long as you got Adobe Photoshop CS4 or above you should be fine so let's go ahead and get started and kind of break this template down this thing has a uh, lots of layers involved uh, generally uh, when you do download a template sometimes I just suggest just going through the template and just kinda unchecking layers hiding some of them turning them back on so you can kinda get a feel uh, for the template and what all is controlled in the template this gives you a better idea if you wanna try to, to uh, manipulate it or maybe just make something totally different from what we intended um, that's why we include a lot of the layers try to make it flexible for you uh, so that if you get creative and you know get inspired to do something else a little different so let's get started I'm going to start from the bottom and kind of work up so the very bottom layer we just have a typical base just black just to keep the uh, dark the background black um, in case there's any transparent layers here that might sh show through uh, and then uh, we got our background some rocks and anytime you see our layers that are color coded in red just keep in mind if it's color coded in red this means that you have the ability to change the color of something whether it's smoke uh, text or or an object that typically means you can change color so if you look here I'm gonna uncheck some of these um, this smoke color I have here if I uncheck it you're gonna see um, right up under the earth planet where the two rocks are on the right side you'll notice that it went back to its natural white color uh, so you can change the smoke to different um, colors if you like we kind of kept this kind of a bluish tone just to kind of imitate the the blue light coming off from the planets up there uh, same thing here's another smoke color layer and if we go up a little bit more you're gonna see um, two layers that's highlighted in green all right, these two layers here are actually where the volleyball is that's behind the planet Earth, which is right here. And we actually added a couple options there. One is, if you want, we also have a color volleyball, which you can turn on by clicking this. That gives you the blue-yellow volleyball. You can turn it off and stick with your traditional volleyball. And if you don't want no volleyball at all, you can go back to our default, which is our little planet up there called the moon. Um, so you got a little bit of choice there um, as far as um, what kind of look you want and then uh, as we scroll on up here you're going to notice here's the earth there's a lot of layers involved with the earth so just to uh, to achieve this glow that we have and I'm gonna scroll up kind of go through this kind of quickly um, and then we have more smoke here so this is the uh, the glow behind the arena and this is the arena which is the seats and the little players you see back here if I turn this color off you'll see it kind of changes a little bit uh, we have the crowd if you don't want no crowd or no arena you can just turn them off if you don't like the, the seats and the, the people back there uh, then you got two more layers here of smoke um, if I turn those off you'll see um, to the right hand side where the crowd is it goes back to the standard white same thing on the other side if I turn it off you'll notice it goes back to the standard white so you do have a little bit of options there as far as color 
And as we're going up, here's the, um, the different parts of the arena, which is the walls. And then you have the courts. And then parts of the nets. And, and here's a nice feature we added on this one is part of the court. We actually included some color overlays that allows you to actually change the color of the court itself. So that way you can kind of match it up with your teams that you're photographing uh, if they have different colors. Um, so for example, if I want to change the inner court color, I just double click. And let's say I want to go with a red color. A little darker I can change that there let's say the outer court I can keep blue uh, and then the net stand color which is right here so let's say I want that to be blue as well I could just grab a color from our court or just pick my own color from the color picker and so that kind of shows you what can be done with it uh, as far as the court itself so a lot of flexibility there so I'm just going to hit undo and then we'll just go back and um, put it back where we had it okay so um, as we're going up this is the actual um, the smart object I, I wanted to share with you uh, I've got it highlighted in purple uh, so the way we operate this is to change this logo out just double click right here on the little thumbnail you see here that's going to bring open the uh, the logo file. Uh, this is a pretty large file. You can see it's uh, it's over 5,000 pixels wide. So it's so you probably need a very good size um, logo if you get one from your school or something. Make sure it's uh, a very good image to work with. Otherwise, otherwise you may have um, uh, a lot of JPEG artifacts and things going on if you try to take a small image and scale it up. So I would try to get as large image as you can get. So I want to show you how you could change this out. So I have a, a, a letter I found online I was playing around with. So let me bring it over. So let's say I wanted to replace the logo maybe with just their uh, school, school letter. Okay. So what I can do is I can drag this over onto my... Um, template now this letter is actually small but just for reference purposes I almost scale it up so and I'm going to hide the uh, layer behind it and then I'm going to take that letter M and I'm just going to just scale it up like I say typically I wouldn't do this um, just because I mean we're scaling it up over 200 percent which is probably not a good idea but just for reference purposes I mean it still looks pretty sharp I'm going to close this other one out and then at this point, uh, I've got that letter there. I can just actually uh, save this, and it's going to update on the template. So if I hit uh, save, go back to the template, you should see it change. As soon as there we go. As soon as it's finished saving. So I made the M pretty big on the uh, on the actual file back here, the smart object file. So you can see it kind of went to the edges of the court. But let's say I didn't want it that big. I just come back in and just scale the image down a little bit okay we'll hit save again go back to the template it should update here in a second there we go and you can see it kind of scaled down uh, also let's say we want to bring it forward a little bit you can also grab it let's bring it down hit save and you'll notice that the image is going to come forward so um, like I say, you got a little bit of play here within the uh, boundaries here, how you want it to look on the court, if you want it to come closer to you, if you want it further back, uh, if you want it large. So, so one more thing I want to show you that you can do um, is you can actually use text on this as well. So let's say I wanted to create my own M maybe, for example. So I'm going to type a letter M here. And we need to make this... Let's make this thing on black here. Or actually, let's just go ahead and make it. Yeah, I'll right here for the court. All right. So I've got just a, a regular text. I'm going to scale it up. Okay. 
Okay. I think I might have went a little too big. And let me see. Let's let's change that font. I don't like that font. All right, let's go with the um, more of a block style here, just for reference. I'm gonna center it on the template. And now let's just go a little bit bigger. All right, so we have a letter M, and let's say I want to um, maybe put a uh, stroke around it. So I'm gonna click stroke, I'm gonna choose color, and let's just pick something blue, kind of match our, match our template. There we go. So I'm gonna drop a blue outline on it. So if I want to use actual text, um, or maybe I can change it out for every team I'm doing, I can just save this like it is, go back to our template, and you're going to see that it's going to update with our new text that we just added. There we go. And like I say, if I want to bring it forward, just slide it down. Hit save again. There we go. So very easy to use like i say um i don't know if you guys uh, use smart objects a lot but uh, just something new we introduced to this template we, we felt it was appropriate because of the court just to give you a little nice added feature in the bld and uh, let me close this out and then like i say you can um you can uh, turn it off if you don't want it as well so right there we'll just leave it off uh if you don't want to use um, any logo at all so it's totally up to you um, so that's pretty much the way the template works um, like I say you have your text layers here that are highlighted in yellow um, and make sure if you want to keep the same text that we're using when you download the file in all of our downloads there's always a PDF file that includes all the font links and where they came from and where we downloaded them so be sure um, if you want to keep this same look with the same fonts I recommend downloading the fonts first and installing those before you actually open the template so you don't get the uh, Photoshop error that it can't find the fonts. Uh, that's generally the best way to do it uh, unless you intend to use your own fonts and that's up to you. Um, but like I say, that's pretty much it as far as um, just customizing the text, changing the colors of the text. Um, you know. Yeah, as far as the only last step is if you want to drop a photo in there um, just make sure that when you drop your image in that you're using a extracted image that's already been cut out from your backdrop and you want to click on this layer where it says uh, drop photo above here uh, I have an image right here we can take this one and we can drag it onto the template there we go and and that's it so you know you're good to go so it's a pretty easy template to use uh we've got this one coming out in different formats and versions uh and then we've got many other sports that we already have out in this space design and we've got others coming so if you ever have any questions about our products please feel free to call me or give shoot me an email i'm always available um if you ever need support you run into a problem with any of our templates we also offer a free uh uh, remote support for our customers uh, that purchase our designs we're able to um, connect with you via remote software uh, take over your computer kind of guide you through show you how to change things um, if you ever need that support please uh, feel free to reach out to us other than that that's it thank you have a have a great day bye bye